everything can be returned back but time can't eternal irreversible and only flows in one direction but by us time has been divided into past the things that have happened present right now and the future the things that will happen in more technical words time is a measure of changes things like velocity speed make no sense without time you can go forward and backward in space but only forward in time so what time really is in 1850 with the discovery of second law of thermodynamics a new term entropy was introduced the second law of thermodynamics can explain why time flows only in one direction present is a thin line that divides the past and the future suppose any star in the universe has just exploded so in terms of entropy the star exploded and it added the new information into the universe every second a star fuses two hydrogen atom together to produce helium in the last second some irreversible changes have happened in the universe that have increased the entropy and added new information in the universe the future is full of probabilities while the past is completely devoid of probabilities anything that has happened will never happen again the change from present to past is called arrow of time according to isaac newton time is absolute time is same for the person near a black hole and a person standing on the surface of the earth but later in 1905 after spending years thinking about time and doing the thought experiment german theoretical physicist albert einstein came up with his idea of special theory of relativity that contain ideas of relative time and space time at the time when einstein was about to get his basic ideas to build the theory of relativity the biggest mystery of physics was gravity and it is still continues to be but now we have at least an idea to describe it when physicists were clueless about space and gravity einstein said that space is the medium for gravity and mass no matter what it is your body or the black hole at the center of the galaxy bends space and if it bends space it also bends time since they are interwoven as a single structure called space time the more the fabric of the space time is bent the slower the time passes and the stronger the gravity this phenomena is known as gravitational time dilation this idea was presented to us in the form of general theory of relativity time passes at a different rate for a person standing on the surface of the earth compared to the person in iss or a person near a black hole every year the astronaut on the iss becomes 0.01 seconds younger than us as you can see this effect is actually as small as 1 second per 100 years but still it's a difference but this idea is challenged by another idea that says the gravity does not make time slow down but an anomaly in time causes gravity we know that the time passes slower at the core of the earth than the crust so imagine two clocks one at the ground and another at the top of the building now guess which one is experiencing time slower of course the one kept at the ground because it is much closer to the core of the earth than the other one Now drop the clock from the top it will come down after some time why because of gravity yes according to older idea but no according to new idea the idea is that clock wanted to experience time slower since the time is passing at a slower rate on the surface of the ground than the top of the building the clock fell down but how did einstein realize that time slows down with increase in speed for this he imagined a light clock a light clock is nothing but a photon bouncing between two parallel mirrors if the mirrors are 1 meter apart then when the photon completes 15 crore oscillations the timer of the light clock will show 1 second 
So, this simple thought experiment proves that time is relative, not absolute. Or the faster you move through the space, the slower the time passes. Another way to understand time is to slow it down, this time not by moving fast, but by recording it and slowing it down. The smallest interval of time that can be measured is blank time. A blank time is equal to 5.3 into 10 to the power negative 44 seconds. It is not clear in what sense the concept of time is meaningful for the values smaller than the Planck time. Planck time defines the scale at which current physical theories fail. To understand things at this scale, we need a theory of everything. Now, what's the theory of everything? It is a theory that unifies quantum mechanics with gravity. In the last second, the number of Planck time passed is greater than the number of seconds passed since the Big Bang. The number of seconds since the Big Bang is 436 followed by 15 zeros, that's 436 quadrillion seconds. And the number of Planck times in a second is 53 followed by 43 zeros, that's 530 3 decillion Planck times. Have a look at this table, which is a list of large numbers. Quadrillion is in the 4th position, while 3 decillion is at 13th position, having 27 more zeros in it. According to Stephen Hawking, traveling into the future is possible, but traveling back into the past is not possible. So, how do we conclude time? What time really is? Is it the progression of events from the past to future? Or is time eternal, unstoppable, and was from ever and will be forever? Or the only reason for it is that everything doesn't happen at once? Or is it nothing but just a stubborn illusion?